The following video will introduce the products in the Allen Spinal Suite. The setup and adjustment of each product will be demonstrated, along with suggested techniques for transferring and positioning a patient. The Flex Frame is an OR table extension. It serves as the platform for the rest of the product suite. All products used on the Flex Frame are compatible with the Jackson table. All of the products are rated for a 400 pound patient. However, if the OR table has a lower rating, then the flex frame and accessories default to the lower weight rating. All products should be cleaned thoroughly after use using a quaternary amine solution or other non-bleach disinfectant. Disinfectants should not be poured onto the products. Instead, products should be wiped with a damp cloth, removing any excess liquid. See the instructions for use document included with each product for further details. Begin by setting up the OR table. Remove the head section and orient it toward where the flex frame will be placed. Drop the foot section as far as the table will allow. The flex frame should only be attached to the back or seat section of a table, never the head or foot section. You can use the spinal leg pad in place of the standard OR table pad if you choose. Move the table down the room to make space for the flex frame near the anesthesia cart. Lock the table. Make sure that the floor locks are in good working condition and that the floor is level, clean and free of debris. The flex frame is only as rigid as your OR table. Try to use the sturdiest tables in your facility when attaching the frame. Position the flex frame so that it is about 4 feet or 1 meter from the end of the table. Remove the clamps from the handlebars of the frame and slide them onto the rails of the table. The clamps should protrude past the end of the table about 4 inches or 100 millimeters. Make sure that the clamps are even and that they are seated properly on the rails before tightening. Stand behind the frame and put one foot on the base. Place your palms against the top of the frame and press forward on one side to walk the pin out of the hook. Now press on the opposite side to remove the second pin. Slowly lower the frame down and let it slide along the floor. Keeping your back straight, bend your knees and lift the frame up. Rest it on the end of the table. Drop the pins into the clamp. You should hear a click as they fall into place. Slide the teardrops flush against the clamps so that the frame is secured laterally. Tighten the knobs. Both teardrops must either be on the inside or both on the outside of the clamps. Experiment to see which configuration will work best with your OR table. Lower the frame until it is level with the table. Check the bubble level near the handle crank. If the bubble is not centered, you will need to adjust the position of the base. To move forward and backward, place your foot behind the wheel axle and slide the base by pushing or pulling with your foot. To move side to side, place your foot on the inside of the base and pull towards you. Recheck the bubble level. When the bubble is centered, the base is in the proper position. For extra stability, you can lock the base of the frame. However, it is not required for the safe and effective use of the system. The setup process can be modified for two people. When removing the flex frame from the OR table, make sure that the base is unlocked. Bring the frame to its maximum height. Slide the teardrops away from the clamps. Lift up on the latch and pull the pins out of the clamps. Keeping your back straight, bend your knees and bring the frame to the floor. Place one foot on the base. Lift up on the handlebars and slide the pins into the hooks at the base of the frame. Remove the clamps from the table and store them on the handlebars of the frame. The breakdown process can be modified for two people.
The flex frame doubles as a storage cart. Most of the accessories can be stored right on the frame for easy access. The wing set system supports the patient's torso in the prone and lateral positions. It consists of a hip piece and a chest piece. Each piece is unique. The label on each latch indicates the proper orientation. The figure's head should be pointing in the same direction as the patient's head, and the solid colored quadrant differentiates the hip and chest pieces. If everything has been installed correctly, the wing sets should form an O. To release the wing set latches, press down on the white button with your thumb and pull back with your fingers. The angle of the wing sets is adjustable. With one side latched, slide the other side along the frame. Close the latch using the heel of your hand. The latches might be a little stiff at first. Open and close each latch several times to help break them in. The width of the pads is adjustable. Flip the white lever down to slide each pad in and out. Flip the lever back up to lock. The wing set pads should be located to support the patient's bone structure. You can remove the chest block to avoid sternal compression. Removing the center pad also allows the width to be adjusted for pediatric patients and those with smaller frames. The wing sets should always be used with a covering. The Allen Comfort covers were specifically designed for this purpose. They are single-use covers made from latex-free polyurethane foam. Turn the covers inside out so that the patient will contact the foam material. The covers should slide freely. This helps to reduce shear on the patient's skin. The C-prone is intended for non-rigid prone head positioning. Position the C-prone along the frame. Place the handle onto the stud and turn to release the mask. The mask can now move freely. Tighten the handle to lock the mask in place. Remove the handle after adjusting so that the mask cannot accidentally be released. The mask can also be adjusted laterally using the lever near the base. There is an adjustable mirror so that the patient's face can be monitored throughout the procedure. The C-prone should always be used with the Allen Comfort Mask. It is a single-use cushion made from latex-free polyurethane foam. Always check to make sure that you have fully locked the C-prone before preparing to transfer a patient. The C-Flex is intended as a universal head positioning system. The C-Flex is oriented with the bumpers toward the head of the frame. The bumpers are to ensure that enough space is left for full adjustment of the C-Flex. Fully tighten the blue knobs on the frame mounts. After tightening the knobs, check that the mounts are fully seated and flush on the frame. The C-Flex can be moved laterally by loosening the upward facing blue knobs. For a smoother motion, apply light upward pressure while sliding. Hold the upward pressure as you tighten the knobs. The C-Flex is a modular system. The first of three included headpieces is the prone face mask, intended for non-rigid procedures. Each headpiece connects to the C-Flex in the same manner. The cone is pressed into the housing until it clicks. Tighten the knob on the side of the housing to remove excess play in the headpiece. Grip the handles to adjust the C-Flex. Squeeze the handles close to the end to get the most leverage. Squeeze both handles firmly to fully release. Experiment with your grip 
to find the best hand position for you. The C-Flex is now free to move through its full range of motion. Release the handles to lock. After adjusting the C-Flex, always apply light pressure to ensure that it is locked. The C-Flex has a set of adjustable mirrors so that the patient's face can be monitored throughout the procedure. To remove a headpiece, loosen the knob on the side of the housing two to three turns. Squeeze the tabs under the housing and pull the headpiece straight out. The second included headpiece is the flat plate. The flat plate can be used in multiple types of procedures depending on what type of cushion is used. For example, a foam block can be used for prone procedures. A gel donut can be used when applying traction. A pillow can be used for anterior procedures. The third included headpiece is the starburst adapter. This connects to a standard skull clamp. Align the starburst pattern on the skull clamp with that on the adapter. Screw the two together until the teeth interlock and there is no play between them. Now you can attach the skull clamp to the C-Flex. For procedures using translaminar screws, position the C-Flex against the stop on the side opposite the surgical site. The starburst adapter can also be connected to a horseshoe. The C-Flex should be covered during procedures to keep contaminants from getting inside. The clean cape disposable was specifically designed for this purpose. Fit the blue pockets over the C-Flex handles and drape the cape over the arm. Wrap the cape around the arm and secure it with the first three white straps. Wrap the cape over the end of the arm and secure it with the fourth strap. The C-Flex comes with its own storage case. Align the bumpers on the C-Flex with the cups in the storage case. Stretch the C-Flex out along the bottom of the case. Place each of the three included headpieces, the prone face mask, the flat plate, and the starburst adapter into the storage case. Slide the top on and the C-Flex is ready to be stored until the next procedure. The prone arm boards support the patient's forearm during a prone or lateral procedure. To set up the prone arm board, first attach the arm board rail to the frame. Next, put the rail clamp onto the arm board rail. Slide the post of the prone arm board into the rail clamp. The height and angle of the prone arm board can be adjusted using the knob on the rail clamp. The orientation of the forearm support is adjusted by the knob on the prone arm board. The prone arm board can be inserted into the rail clamp from the bottom or the top depending on your preference. The prone arm board can be positioned on the frame in front of the C-prone or behind it, depending on your preference. The prone arm board, rail clamp, and arm board rail can be stored as a single unit to simplify setup and storage. The supine tops turn the frame into a solid surface that can be used for supine procedures. A variable number of supine tops can be used depending on the particular application. Four supine tops will cover the entire length of the frame. There are cutouts in each supine top where other equipment can be attached to the frame. The armboard rail can be attached for use with standard or prone armboards. The short accessory rail can be attached when tools such as retractors are required. The long accessory rail spans two cutouts, allowing for more flexibility in the placement of the tools relative to the patient. Using two supine tops and a C-Flex enables you to use a Wilson frame with the flex frame.
The recommended products for prone lumbar procedures include the wing set system, the C prone, and the prone arm boards. Before transferring the patient, remove the prone arm board on the side of the frame where the stretcher will be placed. Line up the stretcher parallel to the frame. Bring the frame to its lowest height. If the frame is not level, lower the OR table. Raise the stretcher height. The stretcher should be high enough so that it just clears the pins on the side of the frame. Move the stretcher flush against the frame. Lock the stretcher. Adjust the position of the wing sets so that when the patient is transferred, the iliac crests and upper rib cage will be supported. With four or more people, roll the patient onto the frame. Readjust the wing sets to contour to the patient's anatomy. Make sure that the bony protrusions at the hips are centered on the hip pads. With male patients, center the nipples on the chest pads. With female patients, push the breasts down into the abdominal area or remove the center pad on the chest wing set and push the breast in. Make sure that the abdomen is free from pressure. Adjust the comfort covers so that the patient is not lying on a seam. Roll the patient's hip back and pull on the cover. Hold the cover above the seam so that you are pulling both the foam and Tyvek layer. This will ensure that the cover does not rip. Repeat this for all four